From President Trump today, more talk of gun control in America and of crossing the NRA. He spoke amid calls for action at the federal and state levels in the wake of the school shooting in Florida. We're going to do very strong background checks. If we see a sicko, I don't want him having a gun. It was another listening session of sorts, this time President Trump with the nation's governors. He called again for banning bump stocks, even if it means breaking with the National Rifle Association. Don't worry about the NRA. They're on our side. You guys, half of you are so afraid of the NRA. There's nothing to be afraid of. And you know what? If they're not with you, we have to fight them every once in a while. That's okay. The president also returned to the idea of arming trained teachers in schools. But Washington State's Democratic Governor Jay Inslee challenged him. I have listened to the people who would be affected by that. I have listened to the biology teachers, and they don't want to do that at any percentage. I've listened to the first grade teachers that don't want to be pistol packing first grade teachers. I just suggest we need a little less tweeting here, a little more listening, and let's just take that off the table and move forward. Several other governors, including Texas Republican Greg Abbott, spoke in favor of having armed people on school campuses. This, as the gavel echoed in Congress for the first time in 10 days, West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin appealed to Republicans to help pass something. But it'd be the president weighing in who will give them the comfort zone. I would think the Republicans, in order to support something, is reasonable. Lawmakers face a host of proposals. They include fixes to the instant criminal background system and raising the purchase age for long guns. But it's not clear if anything can pass. On Sunday, Republican Congressman Brian Mast of Florida, a longtime NRA member, called for a temporary ban on assault rifles. He spoke alongside Democratic counterpart Ted Deutsch. We can get the president on board and members of Congress on board to say, let's put that same kind of pause on board right now, where we look at who's having access, what do they have access to. The NRA's Dana Lash said her organization does not back any ban. We're talking about banning firearms, and the discussion is about banning all semi-automatic firearms, and that's really the discussion. Can we actually look at what could have prevented this? That firearm did not walk itself into the school. The NRA also faces an economic backlash. Starkey Hearing Technologies is the latest organization to drop its discount program for NRA members. That makes nearly 20 companies who've cut ties with the group since the Florida shootings. The Broward County Sheriff's Department faces its own backlash amid reports that several deputies waited outside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland as 17 people were killed. President Trump raised it again today. You don't know until you test it, but I think I, I really believe I'd run in there even if I didn't have a weapon. And I think most of the people in this room would have done that too, because I know most of you. But the way they performed was, was really a disgrace. Deputy Scott Peterson, who was assigned to the school, seen here on archival footage, said through his attorney today that the allegations of cowardice are patently untrue. Of course I won't resign. And Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel said Sunday he will not step down, despite criticism of his deputies and reports that his department ignored warnings about accused gunman Nicholas Cruz. But Florida Governor Rick Scott has asked for a state investigation. Meanwhile, a Parkland survivor, Maddie Wilford, spoke out. She lived despite being shot three times and had a presidential visit at the hospital. Today, she thanked those who saved her life. And I'd just like to say that I'm so grateful to be here, and it wouldn't be possible without those officers and first responders and these amazing doctors. Doctors say she still has bullet fragments in her body and is lucky to be alive. Yesterday, thousands of students and parents returned to Douglas High to gather their belongings. It's not like you're going back just to see your friends. You're going back to see people that are traumatized for the rest of their lives. The school is set to officially reopen on Wednesday. We'll take a closer look at the leader of the NRA in Florida after the news summary.